Welcome ulit sa ating channel mga katulay sa tagumpay. Ang bidyong ito ay ang additional 50 items para sa Philippine Air Force General Classification Test o PAFGCT sub-test tungkol sa operations, plans, programs and safety ng Philippine Air Force. Ito ay isa pang klase ng exam na dapat mong maipasa para makapag-apply ka sa Philippine Air Force. Inilagay ko na rin pala dito ang tamang sagot at paliwanag sa dulo ng bawat tanong. Di ko sure kung lalabas ang mga items na ito sa mismong exam, pero reviewin na lang din natin para dagdag kaalaman na rin, at kung sakaling lumabas ay may advantage tayo. Kung di mo pa napapanood ang mga nauna pa nating mga video ay huwag mag-alala dahil nasa taas lang ng video ito ang link para doon. Hali kayo at simulan na natin ang pagre-review. 18. What is the primary mission of the Philippine Air Force PAF? A. Maritime Patrol and Surveillance B. Air Defense C. Humanitarian Assistance and Disaster Response D. Close Air Support Correct answer. B. Air Defense Explanation. The primary mission of the PAF is to defend Philippine airspace and provide air defense for the country. 19. Which program of the Philippine Air Force focuses on enhancing its capabilities through the acquisition of modern aircraft and equipment? A. Modernization Program B. Capability Enhancement Program C. Air Force Transformation Program D. Strategic Defense Program Correct answer. A. Modernization Program Explanation. The modernization program aims to upgrade and modernize the Philippine Air Force's capabilities by acquiring modern aircraft, equipment, and technology. 20. Which aircraft is the primary air superiority fighter of the Philippine Air Force? A. FA-50PH Fighting Eagle B. SIAI Marchetti S-211 C. F-5A B Freedom Fighter D. Kai T-50 Golden Eagle Correct answer. A. FA-50PH Fighting Eagle Explanation. The FA-50PH Fighting Eagle is the primary air superiority fighter of the Philippine Air Force. 21. What is the name of the Philippine Air Force's aerobatic display team? A. Blue Angels B. Red Arrows C. Blue Diamonds D. Blue Thunder Correct answer. C. Blue Diamonds Explanation. The Blue Diamonds is the aerobatic display team of the Philippine Air Force, known for their precision flying maneuvers. 22. In which year was the Philippine Air Force officially established? A. 1935 B. 1947 C. 1965. D. 1973. Correct answer. A. 1935. Explanation. The Philippine Air Force was officially established on July 1, 1935. 23. What is the primary role of the PAF's Tactical Operations Group TOG? A. Air Defense. B. Close Air Support. C. Tactical Airlift. D. Search and Rescue. Correct answer. B. Close Air Support. Explanation. The primary role of the Tactical Operations Group is to provide close air support to ground forces during combat operations. 24. Which helicopter is primarily used by the PAF for combat utility and troop transport? A. Bell UH-1H Huey-2 B. Augusta Westland AW-109E Power C. Sikorsky S-70I Black Hawk D. MD Helicopters MD-520MG Defender Correct answer. A. Bell UH-1H Huey-2 Explanation. The Bell UH-1H Huey-2 is primarily used by the PAF for combat utility and troop transport missions. 25. What is the name of the Philippine Air Force's aviation school? A. Philippine Air Force Academy. B. Philippine Military Academy. C. Fernando Air Base. D. Basa Air Base. Correct answer. A. Philippine Air Force Academy. Explanation. The Philippine Air Force Academy is the primary training institution for future officers of the Philippine Air Force. 26. Which of the following is not a core value of the Philippine Air Force? A. Integrity. B. Excellence. C. Patriotism. D. Loyalty. Correct answer. D. Loyalty. Explanation. While loyalty is an important value, it is not listed as one of the core values of the Philippine Air Force. 27. What is the name of the annual exercise conducted by the Philippine Air Force in cooperation with foreign air forces? A. Balakatan. B. Salanim. C. Pularong Pambansa. D. PAF Aerospace Defense Exercise. Correct answer. B. Salanim. Explanation. 
Salinib is the name of the annual exercise conducted by the Philippine Air Force in cooperation with foreign air forces to enhance interoperability and readiness. 28. Which type of aircraft is primarily used by the PAF for maritime patrol and surveillance? A. C-130 Hercules. B. Fokker F-27 Friendship. C. Lockheed P-3 Orion. D. Nomad N-22B. Correct answer. C. Lockheed P-3 Orion. Explanation. The Lockheed P-3 Orion is primarily used by the PAF for maritime patrol and surveillance missions. 29. What is the name of the Philippine Air Force's Special Operations Unit? A. Scout Rangers. B. Light Reaction Regiment. C. Naval Special Operations Group. D. Special Forces Regiment, Airborne. Correct answer. B. Light Reaction Regiment. Explanation. The Light Reaction Regiment is the Special Operations Unit of the Philippine Air Force, specializing in counter-terrorism and special reconnaissance missions. 30. Which program of the Philippine Air Force focuses on the development of its personnel and enhancement of organizational efficiency? A. Leadership Development Program. B. Human Resource Management Program. C. Capability Building Program. D. Organizational Excellence Program. Correct answer. D. Organizational Excellence Program. Explanation. The Organizational Excellence Program focuses on the development of personnel and enhancement of organizational efficiency within the Philippine Air Force. 31. What is the name of the Philippine Air Force's primary training aircraft for fixed-wing pilots? A. Cessna 172 Skyhawk. B. Diamond DA-40. C. SIAI Marchetti SF.260. D. Pilatus PC-7 Turbo Trainer. Correct answer. D. Pilatus PC-7 Turbo Trainer. Explanation. The Pilatus PC-7 Turbo Trainer is the primary training aircraft for fixed-wing pilots in the Philippine Air Force. 32. Which of the following is not a responsibility of the PAF Safety Office? A. Accident Investigation. B. Safety Training. C. Aircraft Maintenance. D. Safety Inspections. Correct answer. C. Aircraft Maintenance. Explanation. While aircraft maintenance is essential for safety, it is typically not a responsibility of the PAF Safety Office. 33. What is the name of the program implemented by the Philippine Air Force to ensure the safety of its flight operations? A. Flight Safety Program. B. Airworthiness Assurance Program. C. Operational Risk Management Program. D. Aviation Safety Enhancement Program. Correct answer. A. Flight Safety Program. Explanation. The Flight Safety Program is implemented by the Philippine Air Force to ensure the safety of its flight operations through various measures and protocols. 34. Which organization is responsible for setting aviation safety standards in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. D. Philippine Airports Authority PAA. Correct answer. A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAP, is responsible for setting aviation safety standards in the country. 35. What is the purpose of an Aviation Safety Management System, SMS? A. To minimize aircraft maintenance costs. B. To improve flight crew training. C. To enhance operational efficiency. D. To proactively identify and mitigate safety risks. Correct answer. D. To proactively identify and mitigate safety risks. Explanation. An Aviation Safety Management System, SMS, is implemented to proactively identify and mitigate safety risks within aviation operations. 36. Which agency is responsible for investigating aviation accidents and incidents in the Philippines? A. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. B. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAAP. C. International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. D. Philippine National Police, PNF, Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. B. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAP, is responsible for investigating aviation accidents and incidents in the country. 37. What is the purpose of a flight data recorder FDR? A. To record cockpit conversations. B. To provide real-time weather updates to pilots. C. To monitor engine performance. 
D. To capture flight parameters for accident investigation. Correct answer. D. To capture flight parameters for accident investigation. Explanation. A flight data recorder FDR is designed to capture flight parameters for accident investigation purposes. 38. Which organization is responsible for issuing airworthiness certificates for aircraft in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. D. Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAP is responsible for issuing airworthiness certificates for aircraft in the Philippines. 39. What is the purpose of a cockpit voice recorder CVR? A. To monitor air traffic control communications. B. To record engine performance data. C. To capture cockpit conversations and ambient sounds. D. To provide real-time weather updates to pilots. Correct answer. C. To capture cockpit conversations and ambient sounds. Explanation. A cockpit voice recorder CVR, is designed to capture cockpit conversations and ambient sounds for accident investigation purposes. 40. Which of the following is not a factor contributing to aviation safety culture? A. Effective communication. B. Operational pressures. C. Leadership commitment. D. Continuous learning and improvement. Correct answer. B. Operational pressures. Explanation. While operational pressures can influence safety, they are not a positive factor contributing to aviation safety culture. 41. What is the purpose of a safety management system SMS, within an aviation organization? A. To increase flight crew workload. B. To streamline regulatory compliance. C. To manage safety-related risks systematically. D. To minimize passenger comfort. Correct answer. C. To manage safety-related risks systematically. Explanation. A safety management system SMS, is implemented within an aviation organization to manage safety-related risks systematically and proactively. 42. Which organization provides oversight and guidance for the implementation of safety management systems SMS, in aviation? A. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. B. Federal Aviation Administration FAA. C. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. D. European Aviation Safety Agency EASA. Correct answer. A. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. Explanation. The International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO provides oversight and guidance for the implementation of safety management systems SMS in aviation globally. 43. What is the purpose of an aircraft maintenance program AMP? A. To increase aircraft performance. B. To reduce fuel consumption. C. To ensure the airworthiness of aircraft through scheduled maintenance activities. D. To minimize flight delays. Correct answer. C. To ensure the airworthiness of aircraft through scheduled maintenance activities. Explanation. An aircraft maintenance program, AMP, is designed to ensure the airworthiness of aircraft through scheduled maintenance activities. 44. Which of the following is not a phase of the aircraft maintenance program, AMP? A. Pre-flight inspection. B. Line maintenance. C. Base maintenance. D. Overhaul. Correct answer. A. Pre-flight inspection. Explanation. While pre-flight inspections are crucial, they are typically not considered a phase of the aircraft maintenance program, AMP. 45. What is the primary objective of an aviation safety action program, ASAP? A. To punish employees for safety violations. B. To report safety concerns without fear of reprisal. C. To streamline regulatory compliance. D. To reduce aircraft turnaround time. Correct answer. B. To report safety concerns without fear of reprisal. Explanation. The primary objective of an Aviation Safety Action Program ASAP, is to encourage the reporting of safety concerns without fear of reprisal, fostering a culture of safety within the organization. 46. Which organization is responsible for issuing Air Operator Certificates AOC, in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. D. Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. 
8. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAP, is responsible for issuing Air Operator Certificates AOC, in the Philippines. 47. What is the purpose of a Safety Management Team SMT, within an aviation organization? A. To increase flight crew workload. B. To oversee aircraft maintenance activities. C. To manage safety-related risks at the organizational level. D. To minimize passenger comfort. Correct answer. C. To manage safety-related risks at the organizational level. Explanation. A safety management team SMT, within an aviation organization is responsible for managing safety-related risks at the organizational level. 48. Which of the following is not a component of crew resource management CRM? A. Communication. B. Decision making. C. Maintenance procedures. D. Situational awareness. Correct answer. C. Maintenance procedures. Explanation. Crew Resource Management CRM, focuses on communication, decision-making, and situational awareness among flight crew members, but it typically does not involve maintenance procedures. 49. What is the primary goal of Crew Resource Management CRM training? A. To increase aircraft speed. B. To enhance crew coordination and decision-making. C. To reduce passenger comfort. D. To minimize aircraft turnaround time. Correct answer. B. To enhance crew coordination and decision making. Explanation. The primary goal of crew resource management CRM training is to enhance crew coordination and decision making processes to improve flight safety. 50. Which organization is responsible for conducting safety audits of aviation operators in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. D. Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAP is responsible for conducting safety audits of aviation operators in the country. 51. What is the primary purpose of an aviation safety reporting system ASRS? A. To report routine flight operations. B. To collect data for regulatory compliance. C. To report safety incidents and near misses confidentially. D. To track aircraft performance metrics. Correct answer. C. To report safety incidents and near misses confidentially. Explanation. The primary purpose of an aviation safety reporting system ASRS, is to allow individuals to report safety incidents and near misses confidentially, enabling the collection of safety-related data for analysis and improvement. 52. Which of the following is not a typical source of safety data in aviation? A. Flight Data Recorder FDR. B. Cockpit Voice Recorder CVR. C. Passenger Manifest. D. Aviation Safety Reporting System ASRS. Correct answer. C. Passenger Manifest. Explanation. While a passenger manifest is essential for passenger safety and security, it is not a source of safety data typically used for aviation safety analysis. 53. What is the primary function of an Aviation Safety Review Board ASRB? A. To increase flight crew workload. B. To investigate aviation accidents and incidents. C. To minimize aircraft turnaround time. D. To provide real-time weather updates to pilots. Correct answer. B. To investigate aviation accidents and incidents. Explanation. An Aviation Safety Review Board ASRB, is responsible for investigating aviation accidents and incidents to determine causes and recommend corrective actions. 54. Which organization is responsible for issuing air traffic control clearances in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. D. Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAP is responsible for issuing air traffic control clearances in the Philippines. 55. What is the primary responsibility of an Aviation Safety Officer ASO? A. To oversee aircraft maintenance activities. B. To enforce aviation regulations. C. To manage safety-related risks within an organization. D. To conduct flight operations. Correct answer. 
seek to manage safety-related risks within an organization. Explanation. An Aviation Safety Officer ASO, is responsible for managing safety-related risks within an organization and ensuring compliance with safety regulations and procedures. 56. Which organization is responsible for providing meteorological services to aviation in the Philippines? A. Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration PAGASA. B. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. C. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. D. Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. A. Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration Pagasa. Explanation. The Philippine Atmospheric, Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration Pagasa, is responsible for providing meteorological services to aviation in the Philippines. 57. What is the primary purpose of an aviation safety bulletin? A. To increase aircraft speed. B. To report routine flight operations. C. To provide safety-related information and updates to aviation personnel. D. To minimize aircraft turnaround time. Correct answer. C. To provide safety-related information and updates to aviation personnel. Explanation. An aviation safety bulletin is typically issued to provide safety-related information and updates to aviation personnel, such as new regulations, safety procedures, or alerts. 58. Which organization is responsible for conducting air traffic control operations in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. D. Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAP is responsible for conducting air traffic control operations in the Philippines. 59. What is the primary function of an aviation safety management specialist? A. To increase flight crew workload. B. To provide real-time weather updates to pilots. C. To manage safety-related risks within an organization. D. To oversee aircraft maintenance activities. Correct answer. C. To manage safety-related risks within an organization. Explanation. An aviation safety management specialist is responsible for managing safety-related risks within an organization and ensuring compliance with safety regulations and procedures. 60. Which organization is responsible for developing and implementing aviation security measures in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO. D. Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. D. Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group. Explanation. The Philippine National Police PNF Aviation Security Group is responsible for developing and implementing aviation security measures in the Philippines. 61. What is the primary goal of an Aviation Safety Management Committee ASMC? A. To increase aircraft speed. B. To minimize aircraft turnaround time. C. To manage safety-related risks at the organizational level. D. To reduce passenger comfort. Correct answer. C. To manage safety-related risks at the organizational level. Explanation. An Aviation Safety Management Committee ASMC, is responsible for managing safety-related risks at the organizational level and promoting a culture of safety within the organization. 62. Which of the following is not a typical component of an Aviation Safety Management System SMS? A. Safety Policy. B. Risk Management. C. Flight Planning. D. Safety Assurance. Correct answer. C. Flight Planning. Explanation. While flight planning is essential for flight operations, it is not typically considered a component of an Aviation Safety Management System SMS. 63. What is the primary function of an aviation safety investigator? A. To enforce aviation regulations. B. To investigate aviation accidents and incidents. C. To provide real-time weather updates to pilots. D. To manage safety-related risks within an organization. Correct answer. B. To investigate aviation accidents and incidents. Explanation. An aviation safety investigator is responsible for investigating aviation accidents and incidents to determine causes and recommend corrective actions. 
64, which organization is responsible for issuing licenses and certificates to aviation personnel in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. D. Philippine National Police, PNF, Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAP, is responsible for issuing licenses and certificates to aviation personnel in the Philippines. 65. What is the primary objective of an Aviation Safety Management Review ASMR? A. To increase aircraft speed. B. To minimize aircraft turnaround time. C. To assess the effectiveness of an organization's safety management system. D. To reduce passenger comfort. Correct answer. C. To assess the effectiveness of an organization's safety management system. Explanation. An Aviation Safety Management Review ASMR, is conducted to assess the effectiveness of an organization's safety management system and identify areas for improvement. 66. Which organization is responsible for regulating drone operations in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force Safety Office. C. International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. D. Philippine National Police, PNF, Aviation Security Group. Correct answer. A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAAP. Explanation. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, CAP, is responsible for regulating drone operations in the Philippines. 67. What is the primary objective of an Aviation Safety Management Plan, ASMP? A. To increase flight crew workload. B. To minimize aircraft turnaround time. C. To manage safety-related risks within an organization. D. To provide real-time weather updates to pilots. Correct answer. C. To manage safety-related risks within an organization. Explanation. An Aviation Safety Management Plan, ASMP, is developed to manage safety-related risks within an organization and ensure compliance with safety regulations and procedures. Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood mga katulay sa tagumpay. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-share at mag-subscribe sa ating channel para lagi kayong updated sa mga susunod pa nating mga video. Sana ay may natutunan kayo at nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyo. Good luck at maraming salamat ulit mga katulay sa tagumpay.